All right, let's talk through a simple problem with a person just walking on a beam and see what happens. So here we have a person. I'm not going to do the number parts, just so I'll get the equation set up. So here we have a person um, that's standing on a beam between two supports. Um, the reaction force the, as the supports are shown. So we have a normal force on the left, normal force on the right between the beam and the fulcrums there. And it says this first state the value of N1 and N2. Well, that's fairly straightforward. We can just do a sum of the forces in the x direction. So some of the forces in the or in the y direction rather. Just gonna be we have m1 and n2 going up. We have the weight of the dude going down. So the weight of the guy minus the weight of the actual bar. And that's gonna balance out to be zero. So therefore n1 plus n2 is just gonna be equal to the total weight of the person plus the weight of the bar. Pretty straightforward. Now part two. The part B it says the person moves towards the x end of the beam, the position where the beam just begins to tip and the reaction force N1 becomes zero as the beam starts to leave the left supports. Now they're giving us a little tip. I'm I usually wouldn't give you these many tips in class, but it's said, but if you think about it, if these beams are not connected at N1 and N2, they're free to move around. As this person moves to this side of the beam, at some point the torque's gonna be balanced where you don't need N1 anymore. If the person moves a little bit farther, this would actually tip over and start rotating in a clockwise direction along this uh, fulcrum 2 over here. So they're kind of giving us that, but again, these problems when you often be looking for these worst case scenarios when something happens. So in this case, something happens when the normal force on 1 or over here goes to 0. So what's actually asking? Um, turn the distance of the girl from the end x when the beam is about to tip. So we want to solve for when n1 goes to 0. So now in this case, we can do this do a sum of the torques, and we should be able to figure this out with just one equation. So we're going to pivot around N2. That's where this thing is going to rotate around. And we're going to try to solve for when N1 goes to zero. We want, and also we want to find the case where the alpha, it's the last time the alpha equals zero, that the angular acceleration equals zero. So we're actually still solving a static equation, but it's like kind of the worst case scenario of the static equation. So we'll do a sum of the torques uh, around, what is that, 0.2, or 1, whatever they call it, 2. Um, it's going to be, let's see, let's look at our picture. At here we have our normal force going up. Our person is now over here somewhere. So the weight of the girl is over there. We still have the weight of our beam in the center over here. That would be for weight of the bar. And we said normal force due to 1 goes to 0. So let's look at some of these distances and just label them on here. Just so we have them. So I'm going to call the distance from the uh, pivot point to where the girl is standing. I'm going to call that distance x. And the distance from the center of this bar to the pivot point, I'm going to call that um, L1 for now. And I know L1 we know is going to be 5, I believe, in this case. And we're trying to solve for x. But let's just do it in a variable form. Just so we can use it again if we need to. So right now we have, uh, let's see, what's rotating in the negative direction is going to be the girl. The beam itself is rotating in the positive or counterclockwise direction. So I'm going to have L1 times the weight of the bar minus x times the weight of the girl. And that's going to be equal to 0. There's my sum of the torques equation. And now I can just, I'm just going to solve for x. So we have, let's see, x is going to be equal to L1 times the weight of the bar divided by the weight of the girl. And now I think the way this question is worded, it says determine distance of the girl from the end so actually the thing they're looking for, let's call that uh, x0 is actually going to be, so the length is 5 meter length minus x, if you really want the answer they're looking for. Not too bad. 